Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have the first of my Zara autumn hauls. So this is like a Zara summer to autumn transitional haul. I'm very excited to show you this. Before we get into it, firstly, I can't speak today. I am really struggling. So bear with me throughout this video. I actually just filmed another video and I ended up like getting the giggles and crying my makeup off because I just couldn't do it. Also, has anyone else noticed how at the moment retailers would normally by this time of year have a ton of autumn stock like flooding in. Normally there's coats and we we're all like raving about how ridiculous it is. This year not so much. Is it because of COVID and the fact that, you know, production was kind of like ceased for a little bit and now we're all in a bit of a backlog? Is it because retailers have realized that like coats in August is ridiculous? If you work in the industry, I would love to know why this might be because I've honestly never done a Zora. Why do I keep saying that? See, this is what I'm talking about because I've honestly never done a Zara autumn. Do you know what it is? I keep going to say Zara autumn and I just, <laughs> Zora, <laughs> back in the room, back in the room. I have never done a Zara summer to autumn transitional haul where there's been this much summery kind of stuff still hanging around. This is normally what we'd be seeing like July time. So yeah, just an interesting little observation there. But if you wanna see what I picked up from Zara, then keep on watching. So we have the classic giant box. Wow, it just got really dark in here. It is like raining like I have never seen before right now. It's crazy. Definitely, definitely coming into autumn now. I actually thought I'd talk to you about the top that I'm wearing before I get into the rest of the box. This is from Zara. This is like the item that I think I was most excited buy out of everything that I got. It's one of those like knitted kind of ribbed bralette style things, but it's in this beautiful like burgundy brownie maroon color. I just absolutely love it. And I was so excited to get this out of the box and get wearing it. I think this would look amazing with leather trousers that are baggier. So very, very baggy. I wouldn't even say like Zara leather jogger type sitch. I would say like full on baggy. I think this would look so great, but also with jeans as well. I just think this would look amazing with so many items in my wardrobe and could even be with the right color, warm with skirts going into kind of like spring or even like between now and the really cold days of autumn. So I know you've already seen me in this but I thought I would just show you kind of how I would wear it on an everyday basis. So I've just paired the knitted top with my jeans. These are from New Inn. They're like the perfect mom size like vintage inspired style and I love them so much. You guys if you watch a lot of my videos you will definitely have seen these before and I love pairing them with this brown belt as well. I just really like the combination of the two together is very like vintage -y inspired. It's very, very cute. It's just one of those perfect tops for wearing with a pair of jeans. It adds a little bit of interest so it's not too plain. It's just that perfect autumnal color. Yeah, it's great. Next we have a pair of leather leggings from Zara. I'm excited to try a new pair of leather leggings because I have one pair last year that were a little bit more low-waisted. I think these are meant to be more high-waisted, so I'm excited to try them. I got them in a size medium because I just wasn't sure if I trusted small. And these cost $19.99. Amazing. So excited to try them on and see how they fit because I've seen a lot of people wear these and I'm excited to see how they fit on me and fit my height. They don't look like they're going to be too bad leather leggings leather trousers in general are just always my absolute autumn staple and they go so well with like all of the bodies and knitwear that i like to wear these trousers <laughs> i genuinely remember zara leather trousers running so small they're fine when i let them like this but then the back like gapes i don't know if you can see that the back like gapes open like i can just easily slip a whole hand in there it's weird so annoyingly I'm probably going to need to get these in a the small and they are really lovely but I think the small will just be too small because these leather trousers just don't have a lot of give to them so I don't know there's no like belt loops sadly because that could have been like a really easy way around this this is why I love the leather joggers so much you guys because they had a tie waist so it just made everything a hundred times easier because I could just order I think I've got a small and then I just stitched them in and it was great. So I have to say the leg length on these is great. I don't know if you'll be able to see the bottom of my feet, but the leg length is great. If you're taller, there'll be more of a crop style. If you are five foot two, they will just come down to your ankle and hit pretty much where they're supposed to, which is lovely. Something I'm not used to, if I'm honest. But yeah, they feel great. They're a little bit thinner than the Zara leather trousers that I had for autumn winter last year. So they're kind of like a nice, in between like for when it's not super super cold and wintry if that makes sense but i'm gonna have to maybe like get a small and try them on and see because this is 
this is too much oh i also forgot to show you i've been wearing this and you will have seen me wear this in another video i actually annoyingly have broken this so i need to sew it back together i actually pulled the strap off so i've been wearing it like safety pinned if you ever see me wearing this it's been safety pinned now i'm gonna take the ultimate adult step and get myself a sewing kit because I used to have one. For some reason, I don't have one anymore. But yeah, definitely need one now because I love this body and I want to keep it forever. It's like a ribbed, almost like knit kind of body. It's got a really cute, like, sweetheart neckline. I just love it. If you haven't watched my Zara vs. Mango video, I will pop that on a little card. That was such a fun video to film and I wore this um, during the sit-down bit. But yeah, it's just a really lovely body in a lovely tan colour. I really love this colour. But anyway, leather leggings always look amazing with bodies, so I'm excited to get wearing those and potentially pair them with some of these. There are so many new bodies on Zara and I couldn't resist trying some of them out because I wear so many Zara bodies and now feel like I just want to be a connoisseur of Zara bodies, you know? Like I wanna try and test them all. I love this color, it's like a lovely kind of grey minky color. These feel very thin, so that could be interesting. I got this in a size small and it's 25.99. I really like the neckline on it though, I think it's really cute. But yeah, not sure about the material. It might be a bit thin, but also picked it up in this gorgeous maroon color. I think this is just the ultimate autumn color. It's a really gorgeous color. I think out of the two, I definitely prefer this top though, but we'll see. We'll see. It could be a winner. You never know. Hello. If you're watching this, it means that I have watched these clips back and that the cutaways that you should be seeing are definitely not appropriate for the human eye. Basically, these bodies are see-through AF. Yeah, definitely not an item of clothing that I would waste your money on. The low cut of these and the straps just mean that you couldn't wear a bra with these. So you would basically have to have like some of those things that kind of go over your nipples like i have never you guys know i'm not afraid of things that are see-through but actually i'm slightly scared that these are just like completely see-through i do think there is something to be said for leaving something something even a little something to the imagination and you know it's bad if i am actually just like these are not appropriate to be shown on the internet so yeah don't buy these. Zara have also started doing what I thought were padded t-shirts. It turns out they are bodies and I'm so excited by that. I got these in a size small. They were $15.99. So they're padded on the shoulders, which I always find like, I always feel like I have quite broad shoulders and I used to shy away from padding, but I actually think it helps to balance out my proportions a lot. Yeah, this actually comes in a body, which I think is so great. Because sometimes having a tuck on a t-shirt like this is so annoying and it can just make you look a little bit more like bulky like there's a bit too much material going on so i think these could be a winner in body form but we will see we'll see i got it in black but i also picked it up in this really lovely grey kind of greeny color i love this color with my skin tone i think it's really nice the only thing i would flag is that the bum part of the body isn't like a thong and it's not particularly like slim so this could give some major bpl because this seam is pretty thick so that could be a bit of a pain especially if you want to wear those with things like leather leggings it's going to show so the black padded shoulder blazer is so cool it is very tight i think i got my regular like size small that i would normally get in a body it's definitely more fitted but i kind of like it and it's actually a bit more thick i think than the normal zara bodies which is great and i feel like i feel like it comes a little bit higher up underneath the arms as well so if you wanted to wear a bra i feel like you could get away with it a bit more with this one it looks so amazing with a little black skirt i think this outfit with like a pair of black chunky boots would just look incredible so this is the little sage body i love this I love the color of it. I have to say, I do fight to get into these. They do run small, so bear that in mind if you are purchasing one of these. Because normally a small body for me, I just like slip right into, no issues. So if you're in between, I would maybe size up if you don't want to like have an argument to get into your body. But what do we think? Should I keep it? Should I return it? Do I need it? Do I need another body? <laughs> let me know i also picked up a new blazer i wanted to upgrade from my old white one which i just feel like isn't doing the most for me anymore in terms of like my shape and size so i thought i'd get a new one this is in a size medium it was 49.99 and i wanted like an oversized kind of feel which my other one didn't have i think this could look amazing with like my rib cycle shorts a cute like ribbed black top maybe to match and then this over the top that's like the perfect summer to autumn uh outfit for me I think. This blazer is so cute. I really love it. I want this in all of the colours that fit. 
is perfect. It's got that perfect oversized fit that I love so much. I've worn it with the cycle shorts and also my sliders and then this little like knit top. A black bralette could also be great. I have so many amazing ones from Zara, which are unfortunately not in my house at the moment, but this is still great. I love this. It's just so comfy, so easy to wear, I feel so comfortable in it. And this is an outfit that the base of it could take you from a very casual setting to kind of like a meeting or more formal setting really, really quickly and easily without you looking out of place. Obviously not super formal, I know, but for a little kind of like brunch meeting or something like that, this is so perfect and I love it so much. That with a pair of trainers or sliders, just has me covered for the whole season until it gets cold obviously and then i'm <laughs> i'm in knitwear and leather leggings but i also picked up this this is going to be the cutest outfit well i hope anyway i picked up this really cute little crop blazer it's got like crop sleeves crop kind of like length to it so cute and i thought this would look amazing with ribbed cycle shorts as well but also potentially with a pair of trousers i got this in a small by the way and it was 49.99 i picked up these trousers which i think match Got them in a small, they were 19.99. They've got a really strange waistband. This could be great or it could be awful, I don't know. The length of these looks like it could be okay. And I could potentially roll them up if it's not. So yeah, we'll see how I get on with these. But I thought that could be a really cute outfit together with maybe like some sliders or some Birkenstocks, something like that. That could be really cool. And then obviously on warmer, autumn, summery, autumn days, throw on the cycle shorts instead of the trousers. I actually wasn't sure that I was gonna like these trousers, but i actually really like them they are like the nicest smart trousers i've ever owned they're basically like stretchy super smart leggings it's amazing they have this band across the stomach which i think really holds you in i'm loving this these are so nice these are so nice they're like proper trousery material but like so fitted so stretchy i feel like this waistband would probably like expand a little bit for food as well if i worked in an office i would wear this Maybe with the top underneath, but still. This is so cute. I think even without the jacket, the jacket is basically take it or leave it. I don't think everyone's gonna love it. I feel like a bit too like shouldery in this at times, but the trousers themselves are absolutely gorgeous. And if I worked in an office, I would go very, very, very hard for these. They are amazing. Look, they make your bum look good. They make your bum look very very good if you work in an office and you want a pair of really nice fitted smart trousers to wear with like your work shirt i really rate these i rate them a lot this with like an oversized boyfriend shirt and maybe like a blazer like a proper full-size blazer thrown over the top could be amazing even with like a t-shirt and a blazer could be amazing depending on if you do like smart casual any blouse tucked into these because they are like a little bit they're kind of like that perfect amount of high-waisted really a blouse or any shirt tucked into these would look unreal and like a polo neck knitted in the winter would look gorgeous i really really like these i didn't think i was going to end up keeping these but i actually think <laughs> i think i need to keep these i love them so the crop blazer i just think is the cutest ever i love this it's got like quite structured shoulders i don't know if you can yeah you can see you can see i don't know how much i love that it goes so perfectly with the cycle shorts though the only thing i would say is that this would look amazing if you had a longer torso which i do not i can really see like where it's meant to hit like it would be cute if it was just like a couple of inches shorter that would hit my waist at just like the best point but obviously being vertically challenged you can't have everything in life so this is what i'm working with but it is so cute it's such a cute look i love it with the cycle shorts and I've worn it with my sliders as well. I don't know if you can see. I'm so blind, I can't see myself in the viewfinder. So yeah, very, very cute. Would highly recommend. It feels like such amazing quality. The structure of it is so great. It's such a statement piece and a really lovely one for transitioning you from summer, I would say through autumn kind of into winter you would obviously have to lose the cycle shorts but this can take you quite a long way i think it's very versatile and then you can dig it out again in the spring as well this is such a lovely autumnal color do not drink every time i say autumn because we need to be drinking responsibly around here she says basically i just don't want to be responsible for you all getting wasted so do it at your own risk anyway i love this color it's autumnal this is in a size medium. Interesting. I definitely could have gone for a small in this. You know sometimes when you do a late night Zara order and then you look at the stuff and you're like, huh. Anyway, this was £15.99 and it has this amazing like ruching up the sides, which I think is great because actually with ruching you can make things shorter. So I think even if you're like shorter or taller, you can adjust this potentially, hopefully, 
to your height, maybe, which I think is really, really great. It's just so cute. Oh, I'm so excited to try that on. That with a pair of like Birkenstocks or sliders or trainers would look so cute. I love this dress. This dress is the cutest dress I have ever worn, ever owned. I love the color. Fit is amazing. I've managed to make it, it's actually kind of riding up to it's a little bit short, but I've managed to make it perfect for my height and I love it. The fit is just so perfect. The color is perfect. I actually think that we should just have ruching on dresses all the time because it's so great. If you're taller, you can have the ruching looser. If you're smaller, you can have it tighter and it's just, it fits everybody. Why do we not make clothes like this all the time? So cute. I think it would look so cute with this. Please hold. Aww, this is such a cute autumn outfit. I love the two kind of brown tones together. The trainers just help to really casual it down and I'm just, I'm such a fan of this. It's so cute. Perfect for like the weather that I'm having today where it's like sunny, cloudy, rainy and the world can't decide what temperature it is. So this kind of thing is perfect. I can snuggle up in my jacket. But if it suddenly feels like it's boiling at a billion degrees, I've got my dress on. It's so cute. It's perfect. Yes. Also picked up this midi dress. I'm not sure on this one. I want to know your thoughts. I got this in a size small and it was $29.95. We'll I'll see. It could be cute. It could be a bit too long on me. I think this could be a maxi kind of midi dress for me. We'll see. A high neckline, which will either be lovely or just too much for me and make me look like a little moon head. I don't know. We'll see. I love the colour though. The colour is gorgeous. I really like, do you know what I like about this colour? I like what it does for my hair. Like, I think it makes my hair look better. It just got really dark in here. My God, this weather. Ugh. It's making me feel like cold, you know? Like, it's not cold, but it's making me feel cold. Yeah, so not 100% on this one. We will see how I get on with it. So... The sagey coloured dress, I actually like way more than I thought I was going to like this. It's actually very flattering, more flattering than I thought it was going to be. I actually, when I pulled this out of the box and it was, it's very thin and very lightweight, I was like, oh, this is not going to look good. But actually, it's not too bad. Like, I'm not wearing this with a bra underneath. And though it's a little bit sheer, it's still like got a nice amount of fittedness to it, which makes me feel very comfortable in it. Like, it's just that perfect amount of like, fitted and tight that it doesn't feel too slouchy. I think if this was slouchier with this length, I would probably feel slightly more uncomfortable in it and it definitely wouldn't get a lot of wear, but this is actually really nice and I think it will work really beautifully in my wardrobe. Yeah, it's very, very cute. What do we think? Should I keep it? Should I keep it? Let me know. Oh, this is so cute. As you can tell, I love this color at the moment. It's just everywhere, so you can't really get away from it. If you don't like this colour, I'm so sorry, but it is like every store is selling something in this colour. It's so cute. It's like a wrap cardigan, but like fitted rather than like slouchy, which I really like because it means I can kind of get away with wearing it with more of my baggier items of clothing. Lots of you will know. <laughs> wow. Lots of you will know if you've watched my videos before how I like to balance out my silhouettes. So something baggier on the bottom, something a little bit more fitted on the top so having this be able to be a bit more fitted will allow me to kind of wear it with like tailored trousers leather kind of like jogger style things like all of that kind of good stuff my mom jeans this could look really cute with that because it's fitted i can kind of tuck it into high-waisted stuff as well so yeah hopefully this looks good i like it with my hair color readjusting to not being like super super blonde anymore i picked it up in a size small and it was 19 99. This is so cute. I will take it in all of the colours, please. Although I will also take it in a smaller size because I feel like I've got a little bit of underarm kind of sag going on here with the material and I don't love it. The annoying thing about this top is that you actually, there's no, normally you have this is then attached through like a hole in the side and then your like tie waist bit comes out of that and you like pull it really tight. These aren't built like that. They're actually just like connected to the inside of the top and then your tie around bits are just like attached to the top separately which is kind of annoying because if it wasn't structured like that i feel like i could get maybe a bit more tightness around my chest but aside from that this is so cute i love it i love the color this would look so cute in black white and nude as well so i might need to hunt this down oh i also picked up this skirt zara do a lot of skirts like this almost like a wraparound style i thought this could look really cute with the i keep going to say t-shirt the body that has padded shoulders could look really cool with this even if that body doesn't work though it could also look great with like a black knitted jumper loads of my zara bodies that are just like black but not like padded shoulders it's very cute 
yeah a pair of like chunky lace-up boots could look really nice with this as well it doesn't have to be super dressy stuff that you wear this with i think it could be really really cute just like casual down so this is the black wrap style skirt it fits like a dream i'm so so happy with it it is very short which i have to flag because being five foot two it fits me like a dream i'm so so happy with it but if you are taller I would say size up because you're going to have to wear it like lower down on your hips so that you get more length on your leg because otherwise this is going to be so short and I don't know, I feel like I used to wear short short stuff all the time and I don't know if it's just because I have an over lockdown so I'm not used to it and I'm used to just like being in trackies, jeans, that kind of thing but I feel like <laughs> there's a lot of leg exposure right now. I don't know, is this, a, is this something wrong with me? Why am I suddenly afraid of wearing short things? I never used to be like this. I honestly never used to really like flag whether something was like short, short, to be honest. And maybe I'm just being oversensitive. I don't know. What do we think? Is there something wrong with me? <laughs> Can you all let me know? And also let me know if you think I should keep this outfit. It is very cute. They work so perfectly together, the body and the skirt as a duo. I'm very, very happy with this. It looks good, I think. Let me know what you think. So I actually have a couple of extra items that I realized I forgot to add into this video. So the first of the forgotten items is this pair of kind of like croc effect faux leather trousers. I love these. I have had to roll them up, which is kind of annoying. They are just that little bit too long for me and they go a bit baggy around the ankle and not in a like good way. But I'm hoping I'll be able to have them taken up or take them up myself in some way. For now, I've just rolled them quickly just to show you the length that I would take them to because I think this is my ideal length. But other than the length, the fit is really nice. It's almost like they're a cigarette style trouser, but in a leather trouser form with a very bougie effect on them. But they have that classic tight waist they don't have any like belt loops or anything like that it's really simple and clean along the waistline you have a side zip and then they are fitted around the bum and then more baggy on the legs which i love they have a tighter waist tighter bum and then more like material around the legs which i just love so much i think it's a much nicer fit and it looks a little bit more expensive than if these were like a skinny like leather legging that would definitely not be my kind of thing but they just fit so well i love how tight they are around the waist they just fit perfectly and they're not too baggy around the bum either there was a pair of zara leather trousers i had last autumn and they were just a little bit too baggy and shapeless here and it kind of ruined them for me to the point where i loved them but i could only wear them with a heel that gave me a little bit more height and kind of balanced out my silhouette a little bit more but these i feel like i could get away with sliders or trainers or heels with them they're a very very versatile item a very versatile fit and i love that i've just had it with a zara white tee these are like the basic tees love them so much it tucks really really beautifully into the trousers and i would definitely keep whatever i paired with these very very simple but i think this with like an autumnal toned like chunky knit could also be really beautiful so you could go for something that's a little bit more fitted on your top half and really dress it up but something chunky and fluffy maybe like tucked in a very autumnal tone i think could be absolutely gorgeous and yeah i just love these i'm very very happy with them so on to the second of the forgotten items so this is a white off the shoulder dress in what i think is like a cotton type feel not 100 percent sure but it feels really really lovely almost like a shirt material i love this i think i'm maybe wearing the same size that the model on zara is wearing and unsurprisingly i don't feel it in the same way that the model does i was expecting this to be a lot um baggier around here but i'm really not mad about the fact that it's not i love the way this fits it's very very simple but something that i can see myself having in my wardrobe for such a long time i really enjoy the way i feel like it's meant to sit like ever so slightly higher than it's not meant to be like a drop shoulder if that makes sense it's meant to sit a little bit higher it was very 90s which you guys don't know i just love it has two seams that kind of run down the kind of torso section and a kind of seam around the boob but my boobs definitely uh kind of go a bit past that because they are just i'm at that point in the month where they are just really there you know i'm sure you've all noticed but aside from that the length is perfect i really enjoy the fit of this it's so so beautiful i feel really really great when i wear it even like right now i am so bloaty and just like you know a tight dress isn't my go-to choice of outfit for the day but i still feel good in this and i feel like that's a true testament to how nice this dress actually is and i'm definitely going to be keeping this it has like a side bit as well so it's actually even though it's like a shirt material and it's more of a bodycon fit 
or a small body comfort on me. I don't know which one. I'm going to have to go back and check the images on the Zara website. But I don't have any trouble getting into this whatsoever. I can actually shimmy this on over my hips rather than like messing with my hair and makeup. It has slightly longer sleeves as well. I think if you had longer arms, like maybe it wouldn't be, but for me, the sleeves are just ever so slightly long and they just come onto my hands a little bit, which I love and I actually find very, very flattering. That is my last item in this haul and the forgotten dress, which I'm really glad that I actually remembered to show you because I think this is a little gem and something that I would definitely wear, you know, when it's special occasions like Christmases, birthdays, that kind of thing. Anything that's a little bit more dressy, but I want to just feel nice, but not be wearing anything that's too like, crazy i think this would be a really safe lovely easy piece to have in my wardrobe that just makes me feel great that is everything from my first autumnal zara haul i hope you guys have enjoyed this please let me know what your favorite bits were in the comments below all links will be in the info box as well as well as like sizing and what i'm keeping and returning and all of that good stuff if you're new please don't forget to subscribe i would love to have you back for more videos more zara hauls i do a lot of these thank you all so much for watching i hope you're all having a great day and i'll see you guys again very very soon bye